In 1869, Dmitry Mendeleev published the precursor to our modern periodic table of elements. In Mendeleev's table, the elements are arranged by increasing atomic weights and grouped according to similar properties. Mendeleev had to leave blank spaces in his periodic table in order to group elements by their similar properties. He quickly realized that these blank spaces corresponded to then undiscovered elements. Using his periodic table, Mendeleev predicted the properties of eight unknown elements. These elements were indeed later discovered. The arrangement of elements in the table by increasing atomic weight shows a pattern in which properties of the elements are repeated. The modern periodic table now arranges elements based on increasing atomic number. However, Mendeleev's original premise still holds true. The periodic law holds that properties of elements repeat with increasing atomic number, as the table shows. We can use this periodic law and the way it is represented in the layout of the table to understand chemical, physical, and atomic properties of the elements. Moving from left to right on the periodic table, the atomic radius of the elements decreases. Ionization energy increases. Electron affinity increases. And electronegativity increases. Moving from top to bottom, atomic radius increases, ionization energy decreases, electron affinity generally increases, and electronegativity decreases. These properties can be related to the non-metallic and metallic characteristics of the elements in the table. The columns of elements on the periodic table define elemental groups. Elements contained within a group share common properties. The similarity of properties is partly because each group of elements has the same number of valence electrons. Moving from left to right, the number of valence electrons increases. Elements in group 1A, such as lithium, have one electron in their outer shell. Elements in group 2A, including magnesium, have two. Elements in group 3A have three. Elements in group 4A have four. Elements in group 5A have five, and so on. Using this information and the octet rule, we can predict how an element will behave when it forms bonds. The octet rule states that elements will gain or lose electrons to achieve a noble gas valence of eight electrons. Elements will react so that they lose or gain the fewest number of electrons to have a noble gas configuration, requiring the least energy. We can therefore use the periodic table to predict whether an element will gain or lose electrons when it forms bonds. Let's make a prediction for the element oxygen. Oxygen is in group 6A on the periodic table, so we know it has six electrons in its outer shell. To have a complete outer shell of electrons, an atom of oxygen needs to gain two or lose six. Gaining two electrons takes less energy than losing six. Therefore, oxygen will gain two electrons when forming bonds. Because carbon is in group 4A, we know it has four valence electrons. To follow the octet rule, it would have to gain four or lose four electrons. Because this loss or gain would take the same amount of energy, Carbon can gain or lose electrons depending on the other elements it is combining with. Sodium, which is in group 1, has one electron in its outermost shell. The least energetic path is for a sodium atom to lose one electron. Chlorine, which is in group 7A, has seven electrons in its outermost shell. The least energetic path to a noble gas configuration is for a chlorine atom to gain one electron. When the two elements react, Sodium loses an electron. Chlorine gains one electron. Sodium donates its electron to chlorine. The reaction creates a molecule of sodium chloride, which you know as table salt. Mendeleev's arrangement of the periodic table over a century ago allows us to understand an element's chemical, physical, and atomic properties simply by looking at its position on the periodic table.